guys, it's Dan from Crypto Camacho. And hey guys, today I actually need your help. Something happened today and I, I really need you guys to help me spread the word because I don't want this to happen to anybody else. It's actually happened to me twice now. I have not learned my lesson. I think I have learned my lesson this time around, but I wanna make sure that everybody is aware of what actually happened so that you can avoid this mistake and this issue for yourselves in the future, okay? So recently, uh, I made a post, not very recently, but uh, a little while back, I made a post on my website, CryptoCamacho.com, and I said, is the Polynex cryptocurrency exchange a scam? Must watch. And what this post is really about, it's about how I went and I lost um, about $300 worth of Steam tokens by trying to withdraw them out of the Polynex exchange. And it simply, the transaction simply did not go through. It wasn't canceled. The funds were just kind of hanging in cyberspace. I did open up a ticket with Polynex and I did resolve the issue. It took about three months to resolve the issue. I did get my $300 back, but it was a complete pain in the ass to to deal with this and to, to work with Polynex on this. So I, at the time, recommended, you know, do not use Polynex uh, because it's a scam. I then made a post that Polynex was vindicated because they helped me out. And guess what, guys? The same thing just happened to me this morning when I was trying to deposit Ethereum into Polynex. It just kind of disappeared. And I'm gonna show you what happened because I don't want the same thing to happen to you. And actually, if you look down in the comments of this post, it looks like this has always already also happened to somebody else. Uh, Gina Tarez on my blog post posted that on January 15th, 2008, they made a cryptocurrency withdrawal of 20,000 Digibyte coins and they never received those coins. They opened up a ticket and Polynex never responded and never really resolved the issue for them. I then commented back and said, look, the same thing happened to me. I will help you spread the word and help you get your funds back. So that's what I'm trying to do here is bring awareness to the fact that this is not only happening to me, this is happening to other people on the Polynex exchange. And it is simply bullshit that they are not taking care of these issues. Why? Because recently Polynex was acquired by Goldman Sachs. It was acquired by Circle, the app that is backed and owned by Goldman Sachs, which is a U.S. Uh, United States financial company backed by the SEC and they are not taking these things seriously. They are taking people's money and I am frankly getting fed up and just sick of it. So I want your help to help me spread the news about Polynex, uh, how Polynex is actually reacting to these issues and how they are not resolving these issues, guys. So let me show you exactly what happened to me. So this morning, here's my uh, Coinbase account. This morning, I sent two transactions to Polynex. I sent the first transaction right here, sent Ethereum. I sent about $235. If I look at the transaction right here on uh, Etherscan Block Explorer, you can see that it was successful, right? I transferred from my Coinbase wallet to my Polynex wallet right here. It says successful, the amount transferred successfully, so forth and so on. But guess what? It did not arrive to Polynex, okay? Next one is this morning I sent Ethereum $848 to the Polynex exchange. Here's the transaction block. You can see again, I sent it from my Coinbase uh, wallet to the Polynex wallet that I have set up and it looks like it was successful. 377 block confirmations. You would think that everything is just fine. Guess what? Those funds never arrived into Polynex, okay? So this is getting very, very frustrating that my funds are not being delivered like they should be to the exchange that I sent them to, right? Now, I want you guys to be aware, this is Polynex. This is the exchange that I have recently been using again. And the only reason that I've recently started using Polynex again, I swore that I would never use them ever again after the incident that I had with them. The reason I, I decided to use Polynex again is because I wanted to start doing margin and short selling, right? And as many of you may know, it's difficult to do margin and short selling on other exchanges because the ones that offer margin uh, accounts do not usually accept US or United States citizens to join their account like Bitfinex, right? You, nobody from the US can actually join those exchanges. And so I, I decided, okay, I'm gonna give Polynex another try 
They've been acquired recently by a U.S. company that's backed by the SEC. It should be okay. And so that's why I started margin selling, right? And I, I actually recorded a video this morning and showed you, okay, here's a short sell that I am doing right now. It's an active short sell that I have on Polynex. I'm already up a good percentage. I mean, if you look at my percentage, I'm already up 2% and I'm not even done with the short sell, right? So this is what I've been using on the Polynex exchange through Coinigy, which is why I've started to use Polynex again. And, and I thought everything was going to be fine because they've been acquired by a US company. I mean, like you can even search Goldman Sachs uh, and Polynex. Polynex, I don't know how to pronounce that, but Goldman Sachs funded Poly Circle purchases Polynex for 400 million. Why did Goldman Sachs? So Goldman Sachs, one of the most powerful financial companies in the world and definitely within the US in, in basically in bed with the SEC and the US government and all of the financial systems um, in the US and around the world has purchased the Polynex exchange. And my funds have not been delivered to Polynex. I have not seen them. I haven't seen my funds show up. So I am now out about a thousand dollars, a little bit more than a thousand dollars of cryptocurrency, Ethereum specifically, floating in cyberspace because Polynex cannot work the details out and actually associate my transfer from Coinbase to my Polynex wallet. They are not able to associate those two things together. So even though the transaction was made, it actually is not showing up in my wallet and I cannot access those funds and they have essentially been stolen by Polynex. I am going to open up a support ticket. I'm guessing if it is resolved, it's going to take months to resolve. So definitely not a happy customer. And I'm very pissed off about this. And I really, really want your help to spread this. And please spread this on social media. Please comment and share this on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, um, on, on Bitcoin forums and so forth. Because I'm just fed up with this exchange and other exchanges taking people's money and scamming people like this when the US and the SEC is warning everybody about cryptocurrency scams yet one of the, 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 the one of their own kind of chosen uh, you know Goldman Sachs has purchased a cryptocurrency exchange that doesn't even work and so this is just freaking pissing me off okay as you search for you know, where is my deposit on Polynex? You can see that they kind of talk about it, but they don't address the issue. If you dig a little deeper, you'll notice that on uh, different, you know, social media channels, Bitcoin talk and other areas, you're going to see people having similar issues on Polynex, right? Polynex uh, deposit Ethereum problem. I have deposited Polynex two days ago, but until now the deposit still has not gone through. And they're asking what happened, right? I think Polynex off an error for withdrawn deposit. Be careful with Polynex. Beware Polynex. Polynex always has problems. Don't use this exchange. So this is a known issue and I obviously should have known this. I've had experience with issues with Polynex in the past. I should not have made a transfer at such a large size before verifying. But the thing is, I just did this a few days ago and it worked just fine transferring Ethereum. So it's kind of hit or miss. So be very careful guys when you do this and I mean you can look through these a lot of people are having these same issues and they are not being addressed by the exchange I transferred about 3.8 ethereum into Polynex about an hour ago still sitting on 145 confirmations not going through right five days not going through so this is happening repeatedly right here's another one on crypto compare um, and they say that this is the deal with ethereum deposits not showing on Polynex Polynex provides a unique Ethereum address for each account. This address is, is used for making a contract with one Ethereum account to another. Issue is when one makes a deposit to the Ethereum address provided by Polynex, it shows on the Ethereum blockchain through Etherscan, which I just showed you, right? The transactions are going through, uh, but it does not show on Polynex, meaning the Ethereum address on Polynex gives, gives for deposits is not linked properly so that you, to the user's account, right? The Ethereum is there on the Ethereum blockchain, but it is not on the address provided by Polynex, right? So their deposit system is flawed. They should be taking care of this shit, especially when they're being acquired by a US company like Goldman Sachs. I mean, they should at least at minimum take care of their support and respond to people within like 24 to 48 hours about these issues. I mean, this is real money that we're talking about. And with the volatility that we're seeing in the market, the prices go up and down. You don't wanna lose your money, right? So. This is pissing me off. I want to spread awareness, which is why I'm going through all of this, okay? So that's what I have to say, guys. 
This is a known issue. Do not, do not, do not, I repeat, use Polynex, the exchange, unless you want to face similar issues, guys. I was very much enjoying margin and short selling on Polynex. Uh, I've been doing it just for a few days now, and I've really been enjoying it until this issue came up. So please, please, guys, please help me support everybody who has had this issue. Please bring awareness to this issue by sharing this, by telling your friends not to use Polynex. I'm going to raise a big stink about this. I'm going to make another few videos about this until I get my funds back because frankly, I am fed up and sick of companies like this and the SEC claiming that cryptocurrency is full of scams when their own kind of poster child, Goldman Sachs, buying a cryptocurrency exchange is having issues like this, taking people's money, not getting back to them in a timely fashion. Sounds like a scam to me. Sounds like a lawsuit brewing to me. If we can all huddle together, address this in a class action type of lawsuit, I will fully be on board to support this publicly and you know, do what I can to make this public so that they will fix these issues. This is unacceptable. This is complete BS and I hope you guys agree with me. I have lost over a thousand dollars or it's, it's floating in cyberspace right now, okay, that I want back. So if anybody from Polynex is listening to this, please fix this issue ASAP and we will close this out. But me and others are sick of the issues that you're causing us and sick of you guys taking our money. I'm Dan from CryptoCamacho.com. For tips like these, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on this little red button. If you've had a similar issue, please comment, please like, please share this video. Thanks again, guys. Really appreciate all of the support you guys give. And thank you so much. Could not do this without you guys. And until next time, I will talk to you later.